What can we expect to see coming out of this meeting in Sochi today? It's certainly going to be a difficult meeting. Um, President Putin earlier said that um, there were difficult issues to be confronted. Uh, he hoped that there'd be progress made, but given that Russia and Turkey have very different attitudes towards resolving the conflict in Syria, that may be a problem. Last week, the two met with the Iranian president in Tehran and the Turkish president Erdogan called for a ceasefire and Putin publicly said that wasn't on his agenda. Erdogan is a little bit more positive going into the meeting earlier today. He said that he hoped to see progress and that in the last three days there has been a diminution of fighting in the area. There have been military strikes, airstrikes in Idlib. About 30 civilians uh, have been killed, according to monitors. Um, the expected full-scale assault hasn't materialized yet. Uh, analysts have been saying that um, the fact that there is now a meeting between uh, Russia and Turkey in Sochi at President Putin's Black Sea uh, official residence, uh, they're expecting that to put back any full-scale full um, assault on Idlib. And in fact, what they think may happen now will be um, more targeted, um, concentrated attacks trying to destroy the um, Al-Qaeda-linked rebel elements that both Turkey and Russia want to eradicate while sparing civilian lives, which is a big concern, particularly for Turkey. Turkey already has three million refugees from Syria. It says it can't take any more. The UN is warning of a bloodbath. There are huge concerns, and the whole world is watching today's meeting. So, so Nick, what is Vladimir Putin hoping to achieve? As you say, both sides don't see eye to eye with regards to Idlib. Putin certainly hopes to uh, resolve the conflict in Syria. He would prefer to do this with uh, as few civilian casualties as possible. That's not always going to be an easy job, particularly given that most of the 60,000 rebel fighters concentrated in this territory around Idlib are in urban areas. Um, he's also hoping to see better relations with Turkey. He's looking to take advantage of the fact that Turkish-American relations are at a new low after the White House imposed sanctions over the uh, imprisonment for the last two years of an American pastor accused of uh, supporting the uh, attempted coup a couple of years ago in Istanbul. So uh, Putin is looking for um, a win-win here. Uh, he may not quite get that. There are very different views. Uh, his presidential spokesman earlier today said that the meeting was not expected to be easy. And I've been hearing from correspondents down there today that um, they're not expecting any great breakthrough today from the meeting. Nick, thank you very much for that update. Nick Holdsworth reporting.